The first item uh, before you this evening is resolution number 22-2013. Uh, this is for the abandonment of a 10 foot wide uh, platted alley between 6th Avenue and 7th Avenue South. Uh, you can see here on the screen, uh, this is part of the La Jolla project and uh, the property, the entire city block is what is being developed that we'll discuss um, in the next item. Uh, but the first item of business is to um, have the city abandon the alley so that the property can be developed as a cohesive whole rather than two halves of a city block. Uh, the alley abandonment, um, it's my understanding and it's, it's been staff's recommendation that while you may approve the alley abandonment this evening, uh, the actual recordation of the abandonment would not take place until the project is completed and there's been a certificate of completion uh, for the project. Uh, the alley will be replaced with a 15-foot dedicated utility easement as part of the next item on your agenda. And um, I believe it was at your March 19th meeting, the, uh, the city code requires two resolutions for an alley abandonment. The first is a notice of intent to consider, uh, which was approved at your March 19th meeting, and then this is the subsequent resolution for the actual abandonment. Okay, thank you. I'll entertain a motion. So moved. Do I have a second? <coughs> second. Okay. Public comment. Peter Tim, followed by Peter Tim. Oh, no, there's just <laughs> <laughs> It must be the next one. I just had my eyes dilated. I cannot see. <laughs> it makes it difficult, believe me. Uh, on this item, uh, they're going to build uh, 26 units, I believe, and I can find it on here. And uh, I think uh, this spot on F Street, bridging the railroad track, is probably the worst place to build things like apartments for people. I feel that very quickly something like this is going to change into Section 8 housing because you want to uh, increase the density, you want to do a lot of things that we really shouldn't be doing down there. I am not anxious to be the number one city in the county that has more uh, people <coughs> of uh, under the poverty level living here. I don't think that is something we should embrace. I really feel the CRA is supposed to cure slum and blight, not impact it. So I am against this whole project and I am more in favor of building Lake Worth than trying to turn it into a prize of uh, more people with no money. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we've got a motion on the floor in a second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? I mean, I think there's some valid points made that, that might deserve some discussion. I don't know that that really I mean, does relate to this. I would be interested to learn a bit more about the project. I, I know some about it, but... Okay. So do, are you going to vote? We just voted. Sure. All right. Okay. Motion carries unanimously. Thank you. Item 10B2. Madam Chair, if I may, um, we should have witnesses sworn in. This is a, a uh, quasi judicial proceeding. Okay. Oh. Just a question. Do I need to do it? I do it? Okay. <laughs> Anyone who wishes to speak on this item, please stand and raise your right, right hand to be sworn in. You solemnly swear that you will, the truth, the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Uh, Everyone, make sure that you state your name too before you speak. If you would mind again, just for public record. Again, my name is Karen Vaughn. I'm the Planning and Preservation Manager, and uh, this is the second item on your agenda this evening regarding the La Jolla project. Uh, this item will actually include three separate actions this evening. One is the acceptance of the dedication of easement. The next is um, to grant a density bonus, and I'll describe that in a little more detail. 
uh, and the third is to approve the community appearance uh, for the project. And just briefly to address the public comment from previous um, item, uh, this project is located in the Gateway Zoning District, which allows up to 20 dwelling units per acre, and it's in the mixed use east future land use category, which allows up to 30 units per acre. So um, this is an appropriate spot for this type of uh, development. Um, as I said, there's uh, three actions that you'll be taking this evening on the easement, the density bonus, and the community appearance. Uh, the project site is located on 6th Avenue South along F Street and um, is bounded on the east side by the uh, Florida East Coast Railway Corridor. Uh, first, taking a look at where the alley abandonment just occurred and then there is an easement. Let me get to that. There we go. Um, a 15 foot wide dedication of easement that will take place over where the alley previously was. Um, this is to allow for the, uh, there are utilities on the site currently, um, underground and overhead, and the applicant is proposing to underground all utilities within this easement corridor. And there's the easement. Uh, the density bonus, as I said, this uh, property is located in the Gateway Zoning District that allows up to 20 units per acre. Uh, but the zoning code does allow for the commission to grant a density bonus of up to an additional 10 units per acre for projects that afford uh, that provide affordable housing units, uh, which this project is. Um, and so the applicant has requested this, and it's one of the actions that you'll be taking this evening. Uh, the project site is 1.88 acres, and the applicants are proposing uh, 55 dwelling units on site, uh, which you can see comes out to just under 30 units per acre. As far as the community appearance, appearance criteria, um, these are criteria that are listed in the zoning code that have to deal with uh, whether the project is in conformity with good taste and good design. Uh, whether the proposed structure or project uh, to make sure that it's not of inferior quality to cause any detriment to the local environment, uh, whether the proposed project is in uh, conformity with all the local codes and standards, and in your staff report, you'll see that staff did make the findings uh, that the community uh, appearance criteria have been met and the Planning and Zoning Board uh, recommended a unanimous approval that you uh, grant the community appearance criteria as well. Um, I won't go over the, the project design too much because we do have the applicants, their design team, their architects, and uh, Joan Oliva with the CRA all here to kind of give you the details of the, the specific project. But here you can see kind of the layout uh, this would have 6th Avenue South uh, running along the side of your screen and F Street along the bottom. Uh, there are three buildings. Uh, the first building at the top, I believe, will have the, uh, the leasing office, a community center room, um, and some units above it. Along 6th Avenue South is a second building, a three-story building with uh, apartment units. And then what looks to be separate buildings along F Street are actually all enclosed within a single roof structure with an open breezeway. Uh, so it's being considered as one building, but those are um, also the, the rental units as well. And uh, these are just some of the, the photo renderings that the applicant has put together. So again, just to, to touch back on the three actions that you'll be taking this evening. Oh, excuse me. These are the actions that the Planning and Zoning Board took. Uh, they did approve the additional height and third story uh, using the community benefits provision that's in the adopted comprehensive plan. And the uh, Planning and Zoning Board did approve that. The board approved the variance to allow a three-story building in the type, the building type three area of the Gateway Zoning District, and the board also approved the site plan for the 55 unit apartment complex. And on your three actions this evening, the Planning and Zoning Board did.